Hey YouTube, very quick video and a challenge to you to be intelligent, to not be hateful, to think about a question I'm going to pose to you and to attempt to give me an intelligent answer. As many of you probably already know because it's a small world here on YouTube, a sexy Phil, S-X-E Phil, he's not sexy, in fact he's kind of a dick, uh, but, but he made a video and the video basically is asking for money. Now, he's not the first to do this. Boheme, as you guys know, pretty much invented the word e-begging. Uh, from what I know, I mean, could be wrong. Could have been, could have been someone else. Um, everyone knows Blunty did it. Uh, Blunty two thousand. What's his name? Three thousand. I forget his name. Sorry, but I just call you Blunty. No, sorry. No offense intended. Um, there was that Kim, Bo uh, Kim Bob's for Kim. You know, fundraising thing last year. There was also oh. Well, Ian Crossland does it, I think. He's got a PayPal button. Then there's other people like the Boring Dispatcher who, I don't know if he has a donation button, but I know he sells t-shirts. Quite a few people sell things on the internet. That Drew's Toothpaste guy sells his t-shirts. Um, MC Electric Chair sells thongs. So my question to you, and I'm not selling anything and I'm not asking you for money, so I know there's a guy out there called Give Me a Dollar Man who's like... Um, so he's going around, um, you know, uh, making fun of me, whatever. <laughs> I think it's all, he's also Victor is a loser. It's the same guy, I think. Whatever. I got my haters. It's cool. Uh, my question to you is, is there a right way to ask for money? And what would make you ask for money? The reason I'm bringing this up is because I was in New York City about 20 years ago without money. I had no money. I slept in the park. And it was a really a horrible experience, uh, really terrible. Uh, I slept in the park, clutching my backpack, sitting on a bench, terrified. Um, I slept in the park in New York City, and it's scary. And basically, the only reason I'm actually even making this video is because Sexy Phil made a video, and he disabled comments and ratings, and which he should because why would he? I'm sure he's going to get a lot of crap on his page uh, when you're that big. You're, you attract even more idiots than I attract, and I attract quite a few idiots. Um, <laughs> no offense to my subscribers, uh, but you know, uh, really, I mean, I, I'm starting to feel for the, the big subscriber guys. They're, they're, uh, they must have it hard. I mean, yeah. So what I want to do is pose to you this one question. Is there a right way to ask for money, and what would, um, what would inspire you to give anyone money? Uh, I know there was another guy, I forgot his name, but there was a guy who was homeless last year, and a lot of YouTube people pitched in and gave him money. There's also, I hear, a scam about some guy, I don't remember his name, I think he was bald. I, I, don't, I, know, I don't know the story, so I won't quote, but I heard he had kind of scammed everybody out of money. So I'm, I'm just curious, what do you know out there, if you don't have uh, an opinion, I don't want, please don't write down in the comments, someone's a scumball, or, you know, fuck him. It's not about that. It's The question is, well, it's two questions, actually. Have you ever been so down and out that you would beg for money? Have you ever been homeless? Or have you ever been in a situation where you basically would have begged for money? And what's the difference between, you know, asking on the street, hey, man, I can you lend me a few bucks to get home and doing what he's doing, uh, or other people on YouTube? I mean, what would cause you to give someone money. And why is exactly is it wrong? Why do we look down upon people? We have a ten I mean my gut reaction is fuck him, what an asshole. You know, especially these guys who are in the partnership program. But obviously guys I mean if you're in the partnership program and you're still asking for money, you can't be paying that much. And we're also probably assuming quite a bit. I know as an owner of my own business and a few businesses in the past, people just assume things about your financial situation that are not true. So again, have you ever been in a situation in which you would beg for money? What would cause you to give someone money uh, in real life? Do you give money to beggars? I mean, don't you? I, I know I do. So what's the difference? I mean, at least guys like Boheme and um, Blunty and um, Sexy Phil, at least they're entertaining us. I mean, they're putting work in it. What's the difference? Why do we look down upon these guys? Yeah, so anything you got to talk about, anything you have to say about this situation, about this question, I'd appreciate it. No theme song, no Japanese lesson, just a question. And I really, I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I challenge you to give me 
a thoughtful, interesting response and not just flame this video. It's not a defense of Sexy Phil. It's not a defense of anyone. It's just a question. Think about it. Why are we so judgmental towards people on the internet who ask for money? Are we all just jaded?